episode of Pretty Not Smart with Yoatsi. And, and the Louis. goblin. <laughs> Louis, a.k.a. the baddest perra. This is episode numero Nueve. nine. <laughs> we're almost to the double digits. Oh, my God. Um, we're, I'm proud because we've been consistent. Uh, so enjoy it. It's not going to last long. <laughs> no, it's like it two is. more episodes and then I'm <laughs> No, you guys, we're being pretty consistent. Yeah, are you and excited? We're going to keep it that way because you guys like it. Yeah. Right? They're like, we're getting bored. No, <laughs> they can't get bored. Sorry. So, you guys, for today's episode, we're talking about Mota. Weir. <laughs> Mota. A Mary Jane. Hey, we start singing it. Na 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 Mary Jane. I don't think I've ever really, like, talked about Weir before. Have I, you? No, I have, I have goosebumps. I'm craving it right now. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you imagine a hot box the whole room. We're like, wait. <laughs> so we have some funny experiences and some very bad ones. Traumatizing. Yeah. So before we dive into that, <laughs> we have the word of the century. Yes. And we I wanted to one. pick something that kind of went with it. What? Spell creepy kush. Yeah, I wanna get it. Creepy, hey, creepy, 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 those creepy. are two <laughs> words. No, no, no. It's not creepy kush. Oh, okay. I was like, what the? It's kind of easy, but I feel like you're not gonna get it. Oh, thanks. What is it? It's sativa. S A T I V A. No. Yes, it is, dumbass. No, it's not. Sativa. S A T I V A. A. I said saliva, not sativa. <laughs> I, I literally was like, there's no way there's another word in there. <laughs> it was that one was easy. No. Knowing English would have had a had like a silent H in there. Uh, it's S C. Ah, no, it's S A H. Sativa. You got it, Louis. Good, good job. Thanks. It's because he's high. Uh-huh. I'm all Just concentrating kidding. better. <laughs> no, and then we also got some new pillows, you guys. Yes, look. Thank you. Oh, wait. Too. Well, if you're watching on YouTube, we have a pink and a purple pillow now that say pretty, pretty not, not smart. Porque before we were using some of mine, they were both purple and they just said Louis the baddest. And pillow. everyone was mad. <laughs> everyone was like, why is there only purple pillows? Yeah. And um, it was Crafty Creations by Desi. Who Thank made you for them making them for us. And, 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 blah, 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 blah. <gasps> we never showed him our cup. I'm telling you guys, every time there's always a new edition. Yes. Look, so it's, it's says half pretty pink, not half smart. purple. And it says my name and then pretty nice. And mine says you Etsy. And these were made by Lizzie's Star Cups. Thank so. you guys so much. Thank you. But, como les llamamos dicho, we have some stories about weir. <gasps> and I always find it funny because when I started popping off on like Jutu, especially during like story time era and like my dancing videos and everything, I think because my energy was so high that... <laughs> Everybody, the number one thing that people would ask me was like, oh, my God, are you high? Or like, oh, my God, you're probably hella high in these videos. And like everyone in the comments, but not like bad. No one would be like, what the fuck? Like, pinche marijuana. No, they'd be like, I want whatever he's on. Yes, no, but people were just like, you can tell he's hella high right now. And I was like, what? (laughs) But I think... Because everybody all, would always, <laughs> we end it. <laughs> everyone would always point out how red my eyes were. But I don't know if you remember that I used to wear colored <gasps> contacts. That's right. I still wear contacts right now, but they're like clear ones. Y'all wanted to have blue eyes Dude, real bad. I wanted to convince the whole world that I had colored eyes. So I went through an era. I don't think on YouTube I went through the blue eye era. Yes, I get all pull up your videos and you're all blue eyes. They were green. Really? Yes. I, th- I don't think YouTube saw my blue eye era. If anything, they maybe saw like my gray eye era. Oh, I remember that one. The but gray I, eyes. He was like, ding. Yeah, I either had gray or green eyes. So my eyes were always fucking hella irritated. So I was like, <laughs> like literally they messed up my eyes. because I would wear them every single day. Uh, they weren't even for like daily use. But I think that's why my eyes were always red. And then it obviously doesn't help how like hyper I am. Oh my so people God. were always thinking that like, oh, I probably seen those on high mm. filming all these things. <laughs> but I swear, you guys, I don't think I've ever filmed a video under like, what do you say? Under the influence. Under the influence 
Unless I like made it clear. For example, like my drunk get ready with me when I turned twenty one. Yeah. That one, and then like my drunk get ready with me in Vegas. But yeah, I think I've been sober. Have you ever filmed a video like under the influence? I just thought of one. I did. I I did like a life update or something, but me emborraché with beer by myself on accident. <gasps> My dad me compró una michelada. He's like, then, because I oh, bought I myself. I did a mukbang uh -huh. with a little burrito, a big ass burrito, actually. And my dad's like, then, te hice una michelada. Dude, I forgot it was like beer. So I just kept drinking and drinking and drinking. And I got on drunk by myself. Because especially when you're like talking, it's really easy to, because you get like, thirsty. And you're oh, just like yeah, drinking yeah. it all. And then mid video, I was like, <laughs> Y'all spilled everything. But I didn't say I was drunk. I think I was just like going along the yard. See, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but, um, what was I going to say? Also, before we start talking about all these things, we are not influencing or we're contributing or telling you to smoke or drink Don't or do backflips or do anything it. like that. All right. We no. just want to share our experiences. I know. I think like the fun thing about us having our podcast is that we get to talk about things that we haven't talked about on other platforms Literally. or like just tell you guys more cheese and funny <laughs> stories. And we were like, wait, why don't we talk about like our weird <laughs> experiences? But I got all scared, but he made me. I made you. I wasn't <laughs> even there. <laughs> no, I mean, you made me talk about it. Oh, I thought you were talking about like your bad <laughs> experience. <laughs> but okay, you guys. So I think we're going to start talking about Yoatsis. My first time. First time getting uh, They're like boring. Uh, <laughs> well, do you remember your first time getting high? I do. So. Oh uh, I do. You all no. bring Adam back. Uh, Eddie. <laughs> uh, he comes, he comes up. He's like our third special guest. <laughs> <laughs> He's all high. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Okay. So my first time was sophomore year of high school. I had a group of two other fr it was three friends who were really bad fucking influences ah uh, they were all influencers and <laughs> two of us me and this other girl had never been high and the other two girls were like you gotta get high with us and we were like no like we were scared and then one of the days one of the girls her parents left town mm -hmm. she's like guys i have the house to myself and then i was like dun dun and they're like let's get high and they're like let's get yoatsi and this girl high for the first time so we all went, and one of the girls got the mota. I don't know where the fuck she got it from, but she got the mota. And we get to my friend's house, and they're like, fuck, we don't even have a, a pipe or nothing. Hey, the boys. So guess what we smoked out of? An apple. An I apple, dude. Mm -hmm. A fucking apple. <laughs> So they all made the like the, the hole and then the other <laughs> hole. I want to do that again. <laughs> it was all funny. They all made their own little pipe. And I was all scared for the first time. Like, well, dude, what are we doing? She's like, no, it's really good out of the apple. I wonder if that's a common because I feel like when I started. All right. Like I'm still doing it. No, <laughs> when I started, I feel like that was how everybody would do it in school. And or like in lunch, they would pipe. give us like free apples. Yeah, iba la pinche gente to make their little pipes. With and the then apples. like walking around school, you would find apples, apples. with oil. Yes, yes, everywhere like, on like, the eh? field. Yeah. And even the teachers knew they were like, oh, there's another weed person. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. But so we smoked out of that fucking apple. And at first, I didn't feel anything. They're like, do you feel it? And I was like, I don't feel nothing. And I take another hit. I took another one. I was like, <laughs> dude, I felt que me estaba ardiendo mi garganta mm -hmm. so bad. And they were like, that was a good one. <sighs> and then out of nowhere, I just started feeling so weird. I was like, what's going on? Like, I feel like everything was like. So you only did two? I, no, I did a few. They made me do like five or six. Oh, bitch, I did a lot for time? my first time. And I started feeling it. And then. I just remember they were trying to fuck with me too. They were not like good friends. Yeah. They were trying to fuck with me. They were like, come here. And I like got in their face and they were like, <laughs> going like this in front of my face to like make me trip out. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God. And I started panicking. I was like, I don't like this. Like, this is so scary. Like yeah, my heart started beating so fast. And then I just remember getting like so many cravings, like really bad cravings. The and they're munchies. like, you got the munchies. So I grabbed the apple that we smoked out of and I was like, <laughs> A bitch, <laughs> fuck! It's all ashy. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then they're like, "You hot? You're not supposed to eat the apple." And then I'm like, "I'm hungry." <laughs> I ate the whole apple, and then I was just like, Poof, "I just threw it." <laughs> and then I remember I was like running around the house como una pinche loca. Ew, what you smoke, dude? I don't know, but whatever it was, it gave me so much energy, and I was running around like a psycho. 
But then after like having hella laughs, because I remember laughing for like a good 30 minutes, mm. I started going into like a scary trip. Mm. And like, I remember I was telling him like, when is it going to stop? Like I want it to stop. And they're like, it's not going to stop for a while, babe. Mm. And I remember looking at the time they and like, told you that? Mm -hmm. Fuck they're putas. and the time, <sighs> like I looked, I looked and I remember it was like, like 952 uh -huh. i look away i come back and i'm like okay it for sure has been like 30 minutes it's like 952 you know i hate me. that and i was freaking out and i remember telling him like you guys i need to call my parents like i need to call the cops like this is so scary i'm gonna die and they were just laughing at me Damn. and i ended up calling my boyfriend at the time and i was like babe and i was like this is what's going on he all fucking laughed at me too <gasps> bitch so it was just a very scary trip and i was kind of like traumatized but then right um, the my dad called me at like 10 30 11 he's like Yo, wait, porte. And i was like eh. but by then the high had definitely calmed down and i was just like riding home like eh. that's a perfect <laughs> example of what not to do for your first time if you guys do ever yeah. want to try it i feel like it's the i think with anything that you do for the first time, it's always good to do with people you trust and people you know people are going to take care of you. Because, like, those putas were all fucking with they you. They were putas. Like, now that I think about it, those putas were bullies. I'll get into that another story. But yeah. they were putas. Even I know who they are. Yeah, they were fucking whores. Bitch. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. No, they were mean. And, like, now that I think about it and, um, like, when you live and you learn, mm -hmm. I for sure know that you have to, if you're going to do it for your first time, do it with people that you trust. Yeah. Do it in a safe environment. Y tampoco no te pases de verga. No te pases de verga. Like, <laughs> uh, but that was fucking scary. It just reminded me of, like, my first trip. Because I don't remember the first time I smoked, you guys. Oh, I like just remember. Time? Yeah, I don't remember. You I don't even know if it was, like, a little blunt moment or an apple. It definitely was an apple. I know that. <laughs> like, I remember everyone's like, pss, pss, with the little <laughs> apple. But yeah, you guys, I don't remember my first time doing it. I don't even remember what age or nothing. Ah, right, my brain's all fried. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I do remember is that the only reason I got into it is because I was trying so hard to fit in, you guys. And this is when, like, everybody was bullying me because they were like, well, I mean, I've always been bullied for, like, being gay, even though I didn't even fucking know I was gay yet. I was really in denial. <laughs> But I remember around high school is when I really started, like, getting into smoking. But it's because all of my friends were doing it. My closest friends from back home were doing it. And then my friends at school, like, the only people who were, like, so, what's that noise? <gasps> oh, that's scary. There's I think it was an airplane. <laughs> I know. Um, I think um, the only people who were, like, somewhat nice to me in school, and there was, like, another guy that would hang out with us, so, like, I didn't feel like I was just with a bunch of girls. They all smoked, so, like, I feel like that's kind of how, like, I got into it. We would always go, like, mm. after school. We would just find, like, the most scariest build. I don't know why. We would always do, like, the scariest buildings. And, like, uh, hey. I would just, like, smoke a lot with them. But what I do remember right now that you started saying, you're, like, your story is, like, my first trip. Oh, my God. Do you know how old you were? This was, yeah, it was probably, like, maybe two years ago, three years ago. I had already, Yeah, I had already oh, been smoking shit. for, like, a good, cute minute. But, like... I, don't, I didn't do it often, you guys. I did it a lot in high school because I was trying to fit in because I didn't even enjoy it. I didn't see the point of it. I don't think in high school I would ever even get, like, the giggles or I would get, like, <laughs> no, I was just kind of doing it to, like, fit in. I would take, like, a few hits and I'd be like, <laughs> but, but I know, sorry, before I forget, you mm -hmm. told me, Louis said that because he's so already energetic. I was about to say that, oh, yes. And then you tell him. Now you're saying, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. He said that how he's already so energetic when he smokes, he kind of goes, yeah. And he's just like on a downer. I think the only one that will have me be on a good one is um, hybrid. I think it's a mixture of indica and sativa. Uh huh. But anything else, it will make me just go to sleep. Because, yeah, that's what I was telling you, Atsi. Like, before, if I smoked, I would just be like really chill and like, you know, How just boring. Like, yeah. So I didn't like smoking because I was like, this is so boring. Because I would just kind of calm down. I wouldn't even like get the giggles. I just get sleepy. Mm. And yeah, that's boring. So I only really smoked in, like, high school to fit in, and then I stopped, and then I started doing it again, like, maybe two, three years ago, but it wasn't even weed. I just didn't, like, the whole idea of weed was just connected to me with, like, high school and shit, like and it would make me cringe. Yeah. It made me cringe, it made me feel, like, a little anxious, because I would always do it, like, hiding from my parents and stuff, mm. or, like, going after school to, like, scary buildings, so I was just like, ew, like, I don't want to be in that, so... I started getting into edibles and I liked it because I didn't like the smell of weed. I don't want it my clothes to smell or anything. And that's how I had my first trip. So it was just <gasps> like little edibles. Yes, it was little edibles and it's like gummies. And I liked it because it's clean. You don't smell bad. It's like bada beam, bada boom. Let's <laughs> get in, get out. 
You don't have to like light shit up and get ashes, anything like that. So I had already been doing edibles for like a cute little moment, which just helped me relax. But I remember I took, I think I took a little bit too much. And oh my God. Um, I was watching the movie Planet of the Apes. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> You guys, I was watching the movie Planet of the Apes for the first time. And if you've oh ever watched God. it, like the changuitos have their own like changuito language. Like they don't speak Hi, you English. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> for real. But I was watching the movie. I was at my friend's house. And as I was watching it, first thing that happens, I start feeling like I start sinking into the couch. Like literally, I was like, oh, <gasps> Whoa, shit. Thank you. And before this, I had been on the verge of, like, panicking, but I always tell myself, you know what you did, you smoked, you're, of course, going to trip out a little bit, just let it pass. Like, I always talk to myself, and I snap out of it. Okay. But this time, I think I was just so into the movie that, like, it wasn't a mind trip, it was, like, a body trip. Because oh I literally felt my body going, like, oh, shit. I felt like I was turning into the couch. Oh, my god! And I was just like, oh, I was like, okay, don't panic, you're good, you're chilling, keep watching the movie. So then I started watching the movie. And the little changuitos are talking to themselves. And they put like little subtitles to understand what they're saying because they're not speaking English. Right. But as I'm watching it, I can understand what the fuck they're telling each other. And I tell my friend, I was like, wait, I thought the monkeys didn't speak English. And he's like, they're not. And I was like, I can understand what they're saying. I'm he's not a monkey. <laughs> I know. And he's like, you're tripping. I was like, no, that one just said I love you. And... He just starts, like, cracking up. But I was like, I understood what he said. <laughs> so I was getting mad and annoyed because I was like, I'm not tripping. Like, I understood that fucking ape. And <laughs> That's so funny. After that, I keep watching the movie. And then I'm like, okay, like, I'm tripping because everything just starts, like, moving. And then my friend's parents were there as well. So I didn't want them to, like, find out because mm -hmm. I was being, like, a little more, like, giggle now. But then I was like, dude, Shit. if they hear, they're going to know. So I think that's where I got into my head and the panic started. Oh, so then I was like, I need to go to the restroom. So I go to the restroom and then um, I think I call my friend over after a while because lo mismo que dijiste tú. I was sitting in the toilet and I was like, just breathe, just oh breathe. My God. And then I started getting anxious and I felt like my lungs started like collapsing. So I was what like, the fuck, I couldn't bitch? breathe. I was literally going, <laughs> so I started like getting like panic, a panic attack. attack. And then I was like, I was getting mad at myself. I was like, Louie, what the fuck? Like, you know, you're, you smoke. Like, why are you tripping right now? And I couldn't breathe. And then my friend comes in. He's like, just breathe, just breathe. And I was like, <gasps> and I was like, I, I need to go to the hospital. But then I was like, I am not about to be that bitch right now. Yeah. So then, um. I started looking at the time and I remember looking at a certain time and I was like, and I was just like sitting down trying to breathe, regulate my breathing. I look at them and one minute had passed. Oh no. And I was just like, there is no fucking way right now. So then my friend was just like, let's just, um, let's just go to sleep. Like, <laughs> let's go to bed. So then I'm trying to go to sleep and I'd close my eyes with felt like fucking 10, 15 minutes and I'd look at them in otro minuto. Dude, yes. And the whole night I was like, this is never going to end. And it's scary when your mind takes over because oh I was fully God. convinced in my head that it's never going to end. Yes, like you feel like literally it's never going to end. It's a loop. <gasps> yes, that's what it felt like. And I was like, no. Nah. And then have you ever heard of people say that they've had highs that lasted them like days? Well, I had that. <gasps> It's a Why? different high, but I'll tell you guys about that one later. <laughs> but that's what I was scared of. I was like, what if I have one of those highs that's going to last me days? Because I've, I've heard a lot of stories from friends who would say, like, they were high for, like, a few days and they just, a lot of shit happened. So I was really scared of that, but then I knocked out somehow and then I woke up perfectly fine the <laughs> next day. And I think um, I never did edibles after that again. You're like, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, and I was just like, nope, no thanks. No. It's because edibles is scary because, in my opinion, you can't really control how those are going to hit you. Yeah. Porque, yeah, you can take half of a dose or, like, a full little dose, but you're not fully in control. When you're getting high, I feel like you're like, You're a okay. little more in control. Yeah, you're like, okay, that le, le chupas. Or sometimes, <laughs> like, I know, see, I'm, like, <coughs> I'm like, oh, shit, that was a big one. Leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, with edibles, it's just like, boom. Then I think this is a perfect time to go into my edible scary story. Wow, what was that? <gasps> this podcast is brought to you by cash app with tools for saving and spending it's the best place for you to level up your money and glow up your life so if you guys watch our podcast there is something new that you guys can see Yee! we just redid <laughs> our, our whole podcast. podcast well not only did we redo it but we moved locations yes we got some shelves we got a huge neon sign 
and we got some more new desks and little side tables, cups, pillows. We also got, yeah, the pillows, the cups. We really needed that. I feel yeah. like it literally took our podcast to the next level. It, porque antes se veía un poco triste. And it makes it feel a little bit more like official. official. Like, I just, like, I get excited. Like, as soon as we walk into the room, it just looks so us with all the little details. Mm-hmm. And we're not done. Yeah, we're still we're upgrading as done. we go, but we're so happy with how it's turned out. Let us know if you guys like it, but I feel like I'm literally so in love with the pink and purple walls. It is Me so too. cute. If you want to glow up your life, you got to glow up your money. So download Cash App in the App Store or Google Play. With no hidden fees and a free to order debit card, it feels like makeover for your finances. All right, you guys. So I was actually going to save this story till the end. But this, I wanted to save it to the end because this story was so traumatizing to me that after that, I have not smoked or had an edible since because it fucking traumatized the shit out of me. That's literally was your last Uh, time to do it. (laughs) A ghost. Okay, you guys. So I wanted to like smoke weed um, with Travis's dad. And this was, like, a long time ago. This was, like, over four years ago. That's Mm -hmm. how long it's been since I've smoked uh, marijuana. Mm -hmm. But también for the same reason. I was like, well, I have Travis. I can't be stinking like Mota. Mm -hmm. And it's when I lived in my parents' garage. So I was like, no, we can't be doing none of that shit. My parents are going to smell it. No. So I was like, let's get edibles. Mm -hmm. And I had some edibles. I don't remember where I got them from, but I had some. Mm -hmm. So... (laughs) Uh, we were at the, at my we were at the house because I'm nervous. It's scary. I know. We were at the house and then um, the fucking edible is no mas una pinche gomita, right? It's the most stupidest edible. Like, well, I mean, at least I'm I think it's crying. stupid. <laughs> it's a pinche, just like a little square. Mm-hmm. And my ex at the time was like, "Okay, just take it." And I was, I was kind of like anxious about it. But I was like, oh, "I fucking well, look, ate the whole thing." So the, it's because they're kind of made weird, you guys. So the gummy. It's a whole little cuadrito. So just think of like a, a regular square. A square. But it has like a little line down it's the middle. It's like this. It's literally like this. So think like that. But it has like a little like... Almost invisible, in, almost invisible. line down the middle. Uh-huh. So <laughs> somehow you're supposed to like... That's not that's not one dose. One dose is half it's of that. It's half of it. So that's how much you're supposed to <laughs> eat is just half so you know that it's one dose. Not the whole thing. But then I'm like, then why the fuck with... Why don't they just cut it así la venda? Yeah. But Yoatsi took, so usually <laughs> when I first started, so <laughs> so you would think that the whole cuadrito is a full, it's, but it's not. So half of it is a full. And then if you want to like, if, if it's like your first double time. Dose. Oh, yeah. No, no, yeah. if it's like your first time or you're just like wanting to not get that high, you do half of what is half a half. of the half. And that's technically like less. But this puta did the full fucking square. We didn't read the instructions. And <laughs> instructions. I ate the whole fucking square, bitch. Ooh. And then I was, we were fine. I was like living my best life. We were like watching a movie. We we're laughing, like ning, ning, little giggles. Mm-hmm. And then I started eating watermelon, dude. I just remember eating the watermelon and I was like, oh my God. And I was like, oh, I'm feeling high, but like really high. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. And I'm not a smoker. I don't do edibles. So I'm not really. Like, like you don't know what was going to yes. happen, expect. The good thing is that we had already put Travis to bed. This was when Travis was Mimi's. But I started like full on fucking panicking. <laughs> and también I was with the wrong person because that dumb fuck. I was like, I'm panicking. He's like, oh, you're fucking fine. Like, get over it. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And I was freaking out, dude. I remember my heart pounding out of my chest. <laughs> and I panicked so hard. I started. Did I text you or call you? You text. No. Um, first, you called me. Cause he still lived at my parents' house too, so he was. We were literally, literally wall to wall. Wall to wall. So she, you I called was like, me. No way. I know. <laughs> no, she called me. She's like, brother, like, um, I did a, I did the edible, and I'm like panicking. So my first instinct, not to question, I was just like, no, you're fine. I was like, just, and I, I think I told you the same thing. Just it was remember, so sweet. I was like, you did what you did. You know, something like you're bound to like experience something. I was like, but don't think of anything bad. I was like, you're by yourself. You guys are just chilling. Like, don't trip out. And she was like, okay, it's just I'm panicking. I was and like, And he just was breathe. telling me, he's like, remember you did this for fun. Yeah. It's just supposed to make you giggle. You're supposed mm-hmm. to relax. And I was like, yeah, giggle. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I was so fucking 
panicking? I was on the phone for a cute uh, for a cute minute with her though. So you were te calmaste poquito. So I was like, okay, yeah. Okay. And then I remember telling him like, but who's gonna take care of Travis? Oh yeah, and yeah. And he was like, bitch, Travis is asleep. And yeah. I was like, no, like, but but like Travis, and you'd make like I think I was panicking more because my mom instincts kicked in, and even though I knew Travis was okay, mm-hmm. I still was like, let's see, some, something happens to Travis. I don't know. Just and like I was my just like, well, what is he doing? She's like, well, he's sleeping. I was like, well, if you get like more weird out, you can always just like bring him to the house. He's literally, we were right next to each other. Yeah. So she's like, okay, like I won't wake him up. Like I'll just leave him. And I told her, I think I told you to watch a movie or to go eat or something. Yeah. But then, dude, this shit got scary worse. This was the first time I got so high that I started throwing up. <gasps> yeah. I ran to the bathroom and I literally just started throwing up and I was like, <laughs> like a shit ton. And I was like, I'm so high. Ugh. And it was so scary. And then the worst thing that could have ever happened happened. Uh, the world ended. <laughs> no, I literally felt like that. So no. I was on my phone, también como este, checking the time a cada ratito. And it was, I think it was 2 a.m. And no, no, no. It was like 1.58 a.m. Or something oh, like yeah. that. And I was just <laughs> staring at my phone. <laughs> and then I put my phone down for a while. <laughs> and I just remembered like sitting in the toilet, like contemplating life. Y se le ocurre the fucking time changed. Mm-hmm. You know how, ¿cómo se llama? Um, daylight savings. Daylight savings. So the time went forward. Mm-hmm. It skipped a whole fucking hour. So instead of going from 1.59 a.m. to 2 a.m., it went to 3 a.m. No, no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. So instead of it was supposed to be 2 a.m., it would jump to 3 a.m. I picked up my phone and I'm like, oh, I was like, I've been sitting here for a whole hour. <laughs> and I was like, what happened? Can you guys imagine, like, out of all the fucking days in 365 <laughs> days out of the year, the one day that you're having a bad trip, the time changes? Dude. No, it went from 12.59 to 2 a.m. Yeah, it did that. So <laughs> when she like, told no. me that, I was like, the time changed. But <laughs> I, I was, was like, what the fuck? Like, none of us remember that that was going to happen that yeah, night. Yeah, and I texted him. was like, Louie, I've been in the toilet for an <laughs> hour. I was stuck. I couldn't move. And he was like, bitch, the time changed. <laughs> And I was, I was full on panicking. Like I was literally crying in the bathroom. I like, why? That. That's like literally a cool way to say this. Like imagine you feel like it was just one second, and then you're like, oh shit. <laughs> that was so fucked up, you guys. Y luego pa acabarla to the cherry on top of the cake. I fucking go to bed like crying, like okay, this is so fucked up. And I go to bed and I all cuddle next to Travis. I look at Travis and I'm like, oh, I could have sworn Travis transformed into a goblin. Can you imagine tripping out there, dude? Much? And I swear, I started hallucinating. I saw, I saw a Travis running around as a goblin, but Travis estaba ya bien dormido. <laughs> But I could have sworn. I don't even know if I told you about that or yeah. I told you the next day. Uh, you told me like later on. You but didn't I was tell like, me that day. that's not Travis. And I was like, Travis over here. And I was like, fuck no. And I was like, the kid laying next to me is the goblin. Where's bitch. Travis? Like, bitch. That was the worst trip of my life. Like, after that, y luego that high me duró like two days. That high was so fucked up. I went to sleep. I woke up and I still felt high. Not as high, but I was still like, I'm high. Oh my God, dude. Like, when is it going I, away? I hate that. I was, dude, it was the worst like three, four days of my life. That that week like triggered my anxiety so bad. Pero quedé tan pinche traumada that I never, I, I'm still terrified of weed. Even the scent mm-hmm. of weed, I'm like, oh. For the longest time, you guys, if we had, like, friends who, like, smelled like weed or their car smelled like weed or, like, if they even had, like, a little vape pen, she was like, don't do that around <sighs> me. Like, I don't want to smell it. Like I would get anxiety attacks just smelling the weed. Yeah, like, she literally didn't want to smell or anything that had to do with it because she would, like, full-on panic. And I was like, oh, shit, like, that's, that's It crazy. was so traumatizing. Now I'm a little more, like, open to it, but I still won't do it. Yeah, like, you're just, it's not something that you like, or like, that's fine, or like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have a good time. You're just like, eh. I don't care for it. It doesn't trigger me as hard, though. So, like, if anybody around me at parties or like raves or anything like that mm. is smoking, I'm just like, whatever. But I still don't wanna do it because I still am a little month. Yeah, and then it's especially if it's not one of those things where like, you don't need to fucking do it. Like, it's not gonna, yeah, you don't have unless to. you like medically or something but other than that you're just like if you have the choice like why the fuck would you want to i'd rather smoke alcohol smoke alcohol (laughs) (laughs) i'm even worse i'm like what the fuck drink alcohol sorry i'm pretty (laughs) (laughs) so like we've said many times 
in the past, our parents were very, very strict on us. And obviously with, like, drugs and any fucking mm-hmm. shit like that, of course they're going to be even more strict. Like, mm-hmm. it's just, you know, parents want to take care of us. But I remember this one time I almost got caught by my mom. Because, like, I would only do it, like, after school and stuff, like I was saying. So, like, I never wanted to do it around them. I never wanted to smell like anything around them or nothing like that. Mm-hmm. So I remember this one time uh, I was going to go hang out with my friends at a park. And we did it, like, behind this building. We were all smoking weed and we were just like chilling there or whatever. And like, dude, even when I was young, like I don't have a memory of me ever feeling like, oh, I'm high or like having a good ass giggle or like a bad trip. Like, it's just like whatever. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck we were smoking. It was probably just fucking <laughs> cilantro. cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't have any memories. Ah, right, that's how much I smoked. I have my brains <laughs> off, right? <laughs> no, but I just, I don't remember. So that's what I'm saying. It was just so stupid. But I remember this one time um, I was hanging out with my friends and we got high and then I didn't know we were going to get high, though, that day. So I wasn't, like, fully prepared or anything. And then um, my mom was going to pick me up. She texted me. She's like, um, Luisito, salí temprano de trabajar. Te va a recoger. And I was like, fuck my life. Because my mom just got off of work early, and I didn't know we were going to smoke, so I wasn't fully prepared. And I tried stalling for a little bit. Like, I was like, oh, mami, es que uh, es un cumpleaños de una amiga. Vamos a durar un poquito más. Like, I tried stalling as much as possible. So it got to the point where my mom went to the park, and she's like, I'm still waiting for you. So then I was like, fuck, I'm going to have to, like, get in the car. Oh, my God. So that was the one time where I felt really high, and I was going into, like, um, my mom's car. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> because I fucking knew that if my mom found out, she was going to, like, lower my calzones and be With like. With the Yeah, so I just went in the car, and I was just like, hi, mom. <laughs> and then she was like. Hello. Yeah. She was like, estás actuando muy rarito, Luisito. And I was like, <laughs> No, everything's fine. <laughs> and then I think I told her that I was like sad about something. She's like, a ver, mírame. And I was like, <gasps> shut the fuck yeah. up. I didn't know this story. Yes. And then I was like, why? She's like, mírame. So imagine like I was high and oh I was tripping. I was like trying God. to hide from my mom. So then I look at her and she's like, como que trae los ojos muy rojos, no? And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, es que mis contactos, like, ah. yeah, me duelen mucho. <laughs> yeah. And she was like, hmm. And then, um, I think she just, like, questioned me a little bit more, but I never, like, slipped, and she never asked me, like, are you smoking fucking mota? Oh, my but God. But I was hella fucking panicking. I was just like, fuck, my mom's about to fucking catch me right now. Like, what the fuck just happened? But, no, she never caught me. I don't think my parents have ever, like, fully seen me high or anything. Mm-hmm. But I just remembered where I used to hide, like, my weed, too. Did where you ever fuck? carry around weed? No, or, like, bitch. like, your friends the ones that had it? I never had weed. Bitch, I was, like, over here buying shit and, like, in class, Bitch? like, sending it. Like, Fuck you. I didn't know. It was because I fucking swore I was that girl. Uh-huh. But. Straight Louis. <laughs> I know. No, literally. I feel like it was part of, like, trying to act straight. Like, just. Oh, like, uh, he was like, I got you, bro. Oh, I know. Want time? <laughs> For real. <laughs> I used to carry it. So, do you know the little car mix? <gasps> I'm not going to give you guys ideas. All right. <laughs> no, you guys don't do Bitch? any of this shit. But. Do the, you know? the tubo or the one that looks like a chapstick? The, little. the little cup looking one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would always carry on chaps like you guys. And those little car mix little, they were basically like little cases. I don't uh-huh. know if they even make those anymore. I have not seen them. I haven't seen them either. But they used to be like little like, um I guess like a cup with like a lid on it. It was super small. So I finished one of those and then I would put the weed in there and I would like seal it because those things would hold scent really fucking well. So I would just hold it in there uh, and I would throw it around like my backpack. Yeah, and, I thought it was um, your chaps thing. Yeah, literally, everyone would just think it was my chapstick. So, and it, my backpack would never smell like anything. This one time, too, dude, I had, like, these two little speakers. They were, like, portable speakers. Uh-huh. They were, like, magnets. But I basically took apart one of them from the inside. What the? I took f- off, like, f- f- this not my brother. <laughs> I told you that was stupid. Hey. I took off, like, all the wiring and everything in the speaker, and I would hide it in there. So teachers, if they would, like, look through our <coughs> shit, I was like, it's just a speaker. And then, like, if they wanted it to see it work, I would obviously play music from one of them. So they would think it was, like, a working speaker. I would hide it in there. I also, I think, uh, oh, my God, there's even people who would smoke out of, oh, my God. I'm leaving. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm just scared. getting all these memories. <laughs> one of the most weirdest ways that I saw somebody smoke was through a ear po- earphone. I saw that, too. I was like, what? Bitch, a little headphone. <laughs> yes. Yes. Somebody, like. Cut off the wire uh-huh. of the headphone. They took it apart and they would like, I don't know, it's fucking weird, but I saw that too. The middle school we went to, you guys, was very scary with like weed. I feel like weed was weed, weed. and alcohol kind of, but mm. mostly weed and cigarettes was like a really big thing. Yeah. So like that's why like I was kind of clever with like where to hide it. Cause in our um 
in our middle school, we would even have like dogs randomly. I was come about in. to say, yeah, we had random uh, police dogs. Police cops would come with dogs. Y siempre había alguien that would get caught. Yeah, someone always would get caught, but they knew that there were so many students holding weed that we would have random checks like that, yeah. and we'd start spreading the word like, "Hey, the dogs are here. Yeah, the and cops are here." They took. Out, well, I I never got to go to that middle school with like the privilege of using lockers. I don't know if you did, mm -mm. but they took off lockers in our school. Like we had hella lockers all over the hallways, but we weren't allowed to use them because people because would stash of that. shit in people there. People would stash so much drugs and stuff. But. Yeah, I remember, like, the first time I did, like, a little edible. I didn't feel anything, but I did, like, a Rice Krispie. Uh, this girl would sell them in school. Like, I see it all fucking casual. Bitch, yeah. no way. She would just sell them and, like, take them to school. And I bought one for the first time. I know. I know. And then the girl ended up getting caught. No. And um, the police was there and everything. And then, basically, they she told. She got a juvie. I don't even remember, but I never saw her again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but I basically, the cops were like, I think they were scaring her. I don't know what, but they were like, basically, the more people you tell us that bought from you will, like... Reduce your sentence. Something like, <laughs> I don't fucking know. So that puta, she was, like, really cool with everybody, but she snitched out hella people, and she didn't snitch me out. Aww. So hella people were like, get them! <laughs> like, the cops were, like, getting all these people and arresting <laughs> them, and she didn't... I was panicking, so I took the edible. It didn't really hit me, but I was like... <laughs> I didn't imagine my, my parents would have killed me. <laughs> so, Imagínate este güey. I know. I, I never got caught. He's on Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> imagine. I was like, I'm gay. Let me go. <laughs> no but, way. That's crazy. Yeah, dude, that was very scary for me. Oh, my God. I hate it. What about you? What about me? You said you faked one time being high in class. This story is <laughs> boring. What do you, I just don't understand. Okay, so she was telling me, she's like, one time I faked being high in class. And I was like, what? Like, for it's what? Cause. What's the purpose of faking it's that you were cause. high? Okay, so I went to go get high with some friends for lunch. Again, those putas. It was the same putas. Andale, te manda? They were like, we're going to get high in lunch. Want to come? And it's also <laughs> part of me wanting to fit in because I wanted to be their friends so bad. But they were putas. So I was like, fine, I'll go. We go to lunch. We smoked out of another fucking apple. <laughs> but because of the scary trip that I had the first time I smoked with them, I was like, I'm going to pretend to smoke. I oh. wait, something got in my eye. So I had one of them for class. We had Spanish class with <laughs> the same teacher, Yuhan. I don't want to say his name. Yeah, don't. But <clears throat> so we smoked. Well, I supposedly smoked. I was like, I'm going to turn this way. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't actually smoke, you guys. I just pretended to smoke. And those bitches got so high. Like, their eyes were so red. And I was like, fuck. And I was like, I have class with this bitch. I have to pretend to be high in class or something so she thinks that I actually smoked. Oh. Or else she's going to tell the other putas, like, oh, you he wasn't even higher. I don't know, something. Yeah. And I, I got scared. So I was like, okay, I have to pretend to be hella high. Mm -hmm. So we get to class. And I was like, what do I do? What do high people do? And I was like, I'll just fall asleep. <laughs> no so the girl she was just like very like oh my gosh she was like oh it's because we went to go like her eyes were all like droopy down she's like we went to go smoke for lunch uh -huh. and she was like a flirt with the guys too mm -hmm. so she was like uh -huh, like uh -huh, like all flirting and i was just there like <laughs> all ugly duckling Bitch. so i remember i just got the book and then the, when they started talking to me i had a book in front of me and i was like they're like you had seen i was like sorry it's because i'm high <laughs> Fuck yo, cringy. I was like, dude, I'm hella high. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I was just copying her. I was taking her vibe. Fuck you. And they're like, the guys were like, you guys fucking smoke during lunch? And then we're like, yeah. And then my friend was like, yeah, even your Atsi did it. And I was like, yeah, dude. And she was like, do you feel it a lot? And I was like, yeah, dude. I'm just going to like fuck keep you. my head down because fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you up right now. Get out. It's so cringy. <laughs> And the whole time, and even the, I remember the teacher looking at me like, why is this bitch acting so weird? Yeah. And then, like, middle of the class, because I don't know if you remember, our classes would last like an hour and 50 minutes. They were like mm. two hours long. Yeah. Towards the end, she got the giggles. This bitch was probably actually high. And she had the money. She's like, uh -huh. <laughs> in class. Mm -hmm. And she's like, <laughs> like, cracking up. <laughs> And she was like, you don't feel it? It's like, yeah, dude, I feel it. And I started all <laughs> laughing with her, too. Fuck you. And that's when the teacher was just looking at us like, okay, these bitches. But I think he even fell for it. Mm -hmm. It was just like, yo, it's high. Mm -hmm. After that, the teacher didn't look at me the same way. Because <gasps> like he probably married. thought that I was like a pinche marihuana pendeja. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I faked being high to fit in. I know, I hate <laughs> that. I feel like that was the thing for, like, both of us. Like, it's because it's so weird how, like, common and regular was in our school yeah. because 
I straight up do like the amount of people in my even just middle school. Like it's crazy because when you're in middle school, at least me, when I was in middle school, I thought I was already like older. I thought I could make my own decision and shit. <laughs> but I look at middle schoolers now. I mean, a lot of them look older now. But I'm just like, I, like looking at back pictures of me when I was that young. I was like, dude, I was a fucking mocoso the house you down. Were, like when you look at the kids now, y los ves, you're like. Was me, like, yes, I was like, oh, what the fuck was I doing at that Aww. age? But like, literally, I remember like hella people would come into class hella high, and like the teachers knew that. about it. Their eyes like bloodshot yes. red, and just be like. Oh. And I remember like these two girls who were like the cool ones in our school too. Like, they would come into school like into class hella fucking late, so they oh would come high. God. It was like our first period, so like eight a.m. They at would, eight a.m. already, but they would come in like nine, like before before the class ended or something. Hella fucking high. Their sh- their eyes bloodshot red. Like it literally looks like, like those putas weren't like faking it. Like you could tell. Like their eyes were so red. They were so small. And they would come in with like their hot Cheetos and shit. Oh my god. And they would god. smell. They would put hella perfume. Oh, that's so the teacher como que ya sabía. Like he was like, ah, these bitches are high again. Like he wouldn't even like. That's so sad. I that know. like teachers, they kind of. I feel like they don't really have a choice but to just be like mm, another regular day. Like, you can always they can always like report and say something, but like at the end of the day, if they're not gonna like if nothing happens, they're just like, pues ya que? you know? Because that teacher was really nice. So obviously, I don't yeah. think he was like. But, but <laughs> it's crazy to think like we were that young and like all that shit was happening even in our I school. have another story that I just remembered. What? So, because I got that really bad trip with the with the putas uh-huh. um, in my sophomore year, Julie, my best friend, she's still my best friend now. Julie, for so long, was like, fuck you. That's what you get for not smoking with me. Because Julie, that man, was like a big-ass pothead. I'm mean, exposing uh-huh. Julie. I know. No, she still is a pothead. Bitch. <laughs> she, but she has a medical card. She's good. <laughs> she needs it for her anxiety. <laughs> I'm all talking about Julie. I know. I'm like- Sorry, Julie. Um, what are you calling Oh, she, like, for so long, she's like, that's what you fucking get for not smoking with me. Because, like, Julie would tell me, like, I told you so many times if you smoked with me, like, I would have made you feel safe. I would have given you the right stuff. Like, you're stupid. That's what you get. So this puta, once she told me, she was like, I'm so mad at you that you didn't smoke with me for your first time that I got your brother high. Me. Yes, you all smoked with Julie. When, the fuck did I when smoke you were, with like, Julie? middle school freshman vibes. I don't remember. She t- unless she lied to me, but she told me that you guys and I was like, you smoked with Julie? You're like, yeah, dude. I don't remember this. I, I know mean, what know. happened. She just said that I don't know that you guys were texting and she that probably tripped and imagined it all. <laughs> <laughs> no, that she was like, hey Lou, you wanna go smoke? And you're like, hey, hey. And that you guys remember. all smoked together. And I got all sad and I was like, You guys smoked without me? <laughs> she's like, Well, you wanted to be a puta. And I was like, mm, I Don't, don't lie. Bitch, I'm why would I lie? her right now? Uh-huh. <laughs> what would I lie about that? I don't remember. She said you guys smoked together. Well, I'm not denying it, but I'm saying I don't remember anything. Really? We'll I'm ask her when you she my, comes. I have a really bad memory, you guys. Maybe that's why. Yeah. yeah I don't remember she ever. She said that you guys smoked together, and I was like, mm, like I got all would, sad. Like how would that even happen? <laughs> you guys texted. You guys had each other's number. I don't remember. This is a guys. long time ago. <laughs> I know. Well, now I want to hmm. find out, so maybe we'll ask her because we'll I don't remember. We need to bring Julie for a podcast. <laughs> she has, she so has many a lot stories. of childhood <laughs> stories about us being all stupid. She does. But I also remember you guys. Um, like, I'm telling you guys, we were, like, fucking crackhead shit. So, <laughs> my dad one time caught me in my workshop. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I was all working. Ah, uh, you're like, ding, ding. <laughs> so, what you guys. You so, you know how, like, everybody used to, like, smoke out of apples and shit like that? And, like, all <laughs> my friends had, like, these pretty-ass pipes. And, like, I didn't have money like that. And even if I did, like, I wasn't going to spend it on, like, a pipe. I was probably going to go, like spend it on something sickening uh-huh. like shoes or something but i remember in high school you guys no way what did you do? i'm pretty sure it was high school so i was tired of smoking out of all these fucking apples and all this fucking shit and andrea <laughs> wow. so andrea used to make like her little clay creations we talked about it on the mm-hmm. podcast with now so i don't know if you guys remember when the episode of andrea said that andrea used to make little things with clay and one time like Dude, I'm telling you, I'm low-key kind of smart when <laughs> me conviene. Um, I was saw Andrea making all these fucking... Oh, I know why. <laughs> it's because back then you weren't pretty. So you were Bitch, just smart. I was now just you're smart. pretty, not smart. <laughs> no, but literally Andrea would make like these little things out of this clay, mm-hmm. put it in a little oven, <laughs> and then um, it would get 
rock hard. So one time, I don't even know how the fuck I got this idea. And I was like, what if I make a pipe out of her fucking clay? <laughs> Can you imagine, like, me all fucking stupid using a whole ass little cute innocent thing that I was doing and stealing it to make a pipe? <laughs> so when Andrea was at home, I went into her room, and I got some of her clay. And, bitch, I literally made a whole fucking pipe. What the fuck, Louis? I remember, like, I made the little, like, the little circulito where you're going to put the weed on it. I made the little, like, um, what is it called? The breathing hole or the oxygen hole. Bitch, and then I made awesome. Como se dice engineer? <laughs> I know. And then I made like where you put like the lips and everything. Like it literally looked like a straight up fucking pipe. Aww. And then I was like, is this gonna work? And I remember I was like all making it. And when Andrea was gonna bake some of her um little creations that she made, I just slipped it in there. Fuck you. And she baked it for me. <laughs> so when she didn't Poor look, man. I was like, and I took my little pipe. And I remember I was so excited to try it. So I had like some little weed. So I went to my backyard when no one was home and I was like, <laughs> and it worked, dude. No, it didn't. I had made my own pipe. Uh, Louis' life pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. I was literally gagged. Like, I was shook that it fucking worked. And I remember I showed, like, my friends that I used to smoke with. I was like, dude, look what I have. I'm like, what the fuck's that? And I was like, I made a pipe. They're like, there's no way that shit works. And I showed them, they were like, oh, shit. <laughs> so everybody was like, hi for me. And I was like, it's going to be a little side business for me. <laughs> so then I remember like everyone was like hella gagged about like my my little pipe that I had made. And it was, I made it super small. So it was like super compact. <laughs> and, like, it was perfect. She's already a businesswoman. So then my friends were like, dude, make me one. And I was like, no. I have all these colors. <laughs> because they were Andreas clay colors. <laughs> And I, didn't, and I didn't tell anybody how, what I used to make it because I don't want them to copy me. But I was like, yeah, what color do you want it, bro? Like, I have all yeah. these colors. And everybody knew me to, like, sell them. I was like, go with the homie Louis. The homie Hell Louis. Bitch, no. <laughs> so right when my business was about to launch, <laughs> <laughs> I got raided. I got caught. <laughs> I remember I was in my <laughs> the SWAT. <laughs> oh, the SWAT. What is that? Did you know <laughs> the SWAT? Oh, the SWAT! I was the like, I'm gonna get him because you got raided. No, I literally was like in my room about to make my first order. <laughs> I have all pack packaging it on TikTok. I'm like, come with me to make a pipe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but Thank I was like you. making my first order and like um. How What's custom? It yes, <laughs> I was all making initial. it their favorite color and everything. <laughs> and then my. Dad walks in. <laughs> no way. This is before my parents um, respected our privacy. So my dad just opened the door. He's like, ya está la comida. And I was like, <gasps> <gasps> and he saw my fucking pipe. He saw your and creation. And he's like, yeah, my dad's like, ¿qué estás haciendo? And then I was like, um, instantly fucking panicked. And the first thing that came into my head was telling him that I was making like, um, I don't know if you remember that I used to have like resort, ¿cómo se dicen? Resorteras? Oh, resorteras. Yeah. yeah. I had something like that. And we would always play with those outside. So I tried telling my dad, I was like, oh, estoy haciendo como una uh, res resortera. resortera. But I was telling him that it's one of the ones you put on the floor and you put like a little piedra and you hit it. Because oh, the pipe, the pipe already had like the little circle where you hold it and the long tube where you like put your mouth on it. Uh -huh. I didn't have the oxygen holes or nothing yet. Oh my God. And I told my dad, I was like, oh, no, más estoy haciendo para mis amigos, like una resoltera, but something para jugar. And he's like, that's not what that is. And I was like, oh, my Don't dad, be on you. My dad put his fucking, like, dad belt on, and he was like, what is that? I could have gotten away with it, but my dad knew because one of um, a family member that we had was a stoner. Mm -hmm. So my dad was not new to it. My dad had seen those things. My dad oh knew what they were. Oh my God. And I feel like in, like, Hispanic culture, I feel like weed is almost worse than like alcohol. Yeah, it's like, like so badly looked upon. Yeah, like I feel like sometimes parents, if you're drinking at a young age, they're like, pendejo. But if you're like smoking weed, they're like, bitch, fuck you. Oh, no. Yeah, like it's the worst thing ever. So my dad was like, kitchen houses. And then he started getting mad. He's like, no, estoy pendejo. Yo sé que es eso, baba. And he like <gasps> took it from me and baba. And I was like, no, oh, dad. And I started crying. And then he like threw it at me. <laughs> He's like, broken. no, esas cosas. And then my mom came in. She's like, what's happening? And I was like, I was making a little resoltera. And I'm like, <laughs> All innocent. But my dad never, I never told my mom what my dad thought it was. And my dad never told my mom. Like, I feel like it was a little like, just Son don't fucking secret. do it again. And like, we'll never talk about uh, it. He all gra grabbed your creation was like. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> I'll <to laughs> all right. <laughs> 
Yeah, so my dad ended my business before it even started. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Yeah, and I never, I never tried it ever again. I got so scared that I feel like my dad left me off the hook by being like, stop this shit before like it continues. And then I just, I never attempted doing it again. I just kept my little pipe and it lasted me a really long time. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, was it purple? No, I, I it's because when I first tried it, it was just like my, um, what is it called? Your, um, when it's like your first try. Mm. Basically, I just didn't know if it was going to work or not. So I just used like the basic like um, clay color. It was just like cracky brown. Oh, ew, cracky. <laughs> <laughs> literally. And then, yeah, I don't know what ended up. That would have been like an iconic thing to still have. Like, I remember I did my own <laughs> <laughs> Y'all bring it to the show. I know, but you never had like my parents like ever like catch you or like anything like that? No, I don't think really? so. You're all good at hiding it. I it's because, no, I told you I didn't really smoke like you. I know, dude. Like, Literally, you guys, when I think about, like, my past, it's, like, a whole different person. That's scary. I would never do a lot of the shit that I did back then. I feel like it was a lot of, like, trying to find myself and, like, trying, trying to, to fit, in. fit in and make friends. Because, like, bitch, I can't. I, like, I lived, like, a hundred million different lives. and like That's that's so weird. Like, those stories that you just told me, I had no idea about. Yeah. Like, my mama was catching you. Like, literally, that person compared to, like, who I am now is just, like, that's I remember, scary. like, around that time, you guys, when I was, like, smoking stuff, that's when I got, like, my little piercing right here that we've talked about. I used to have, like, an anti-dermal oh piercing. Oh, my goodness. That's right. That I told you not to mm-hmm. get. And I used to, like, sag my pants, too. Hey. I would wear, like, like, long t-shirts. And uh, it, was, it was scary times. Very scary moments. But I was more, if you remember the stories that we've talked about, I was definitely more of a, a drinker in high school than weed. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I know you saw that. I was like, Ugh, my little squishmallow. I had more drunken story times than than like weed, because that shit fucking freaked me out. I knew not to fuck with it. I know. But I just remembered a one last story. Um, I think I started smoking more when I was out of high school. This guy wanted to hang out with me. He said, "Want to go get lit? Want to go get high?" And I was like, "Sure, whatever." My parents let me go hang out with him, so we went on a little car ride. And I just remember we just parked in, like, some random little parking lot. Mm-hmm. And brought out his swing. He's like, just take a few hits. I was like, hey. And we, I didn't even really know this guy that well. But we did have, like, a little just casual conversation. But we both got super high because it got to that point where we were just both staring at, like, the windshield. Like, <laughs> e- like all lit. Yeah. And then I remember he started talking to me about some stuff. I, I, I was just looking at him all high, like, eh uh-huh. Just kind of, like, listening to him. <gasps> Tell me why his eyes turned green. Bitch? Like, like no verdes, pupil? No, like, yeah, like, completely verdes. Like, th- like almost an alien eyes. Like, Bitch. you guys are going to think I'm weird. <laughs> At first, your son's a goblin, <laughs> and now there's, like, an alien in your car. I'm remembering. I'm not making it up, I promise. Like, I just remember his eyes, like, being super green and, like, scary. And I was like, <gasps> I was like, con el diablo. I'm just kidding. Bitch. No, I literally just got super spooked and I was like, <gasps> he kind of gave me like demon vibes. And I never hung out with him again because I thought he was a demon. Ew, I hate that. I would literally panic if but I like. I just remember like seeing the eyes like super green and I just remember telling myself, like, relax or you're gonna have a panic attack. Yeah. Like it's okay, like you're probably just hallucinating. I don't I don't know, maybe it wasn't just weed that I was smoking. I imagine he was an alien. <laughs> <laughs> he was just sitting next to you. He's on the curve, he's like, <laughs> I know you're <laughs> He's all trying to reveal his secret to you. No, but after I know he's all trying to come out. He's like, "Hey, I know." I was like, "Can I? Can you take me home?" <laughs> and he took me home after. Oh hell no! I feel like that Scary. was a common thing. People be like, "Like that was like a, a date. Like let me smoke you out." But now you. Ew. But now that I think about it, like if a guy ever oh. asks you to go smoke as like a date, that's a big oh, ass red flag. No. Unless you're a big ass stoner and you're into that stuff and you like want to do it to bond. But true. If you're not, ooh. I just, I, I feel like that'd be like a setup for failure. Like, imagine you don't know this person, you start panicking, and then he's not going to help you because you guys don't know each other. <laughs> he's like, ah. <laughs> yeah, like, I feel like that would be like hella scary. Yeah, don't so wet. Yeah, you guys, um, we wanted to share like these stories because I feel like they were just funny, but you're once, scary. Uh, ah. <laughs> once again, <laughs> ah, poo, poo, poo. Ah, we start singing. Once again, we are not recommending or encouraging or telling y'all to, like, try things like that. But it's cool now because now that there's, like, dispensaries and stuff around. Yeah. Like, 
I don't know, like, now that, like, you can actually go into, like, a little dispensary and, like, go buy weed, like, just all casual. You can educate yourself yeah, on it, too. Yeah, like, I remember, like, the first time I went, like, they were just... And it's crazy because, like, you know how it was such, like, a hidden thing back then? Like, yeah. nobody talked about it. Weed. Yeah, like, now just, like, oh, like, welcome. Like, this is all the like, weed that we have. Now. And, like, everything. I'm just, like, oh, shit. Like... It just felt so weird. Like, I was like, where, like, what world am I living in? Like, like where it was, like, normal. Aww. Yeah. But it's cool. Like, they're, like, to get informed and figure out what you're putting into your body and mm -hmm. what's what and what helps with what. Because there's, like, a lot of things that can obviously help you, like, go to sleep or just yeah. relax or when you have anxiety or, like, things like that. But, um definitely the shit that we were smoking before i don't know what the fuck that was same and that was the scary part too that you honestly did not mm -mm. know what you were smoking you don't know how they were even growing air where it was coming from or if what it, like, if it was laced with something bitch yeah. like that's so scary it's like just, like you ugh. i wouldn't the stuff i would do back then i would not do them anymore like, oh ever. dude literally yeah i'm just like back then i was like a little bit mas atrevido but i feel like because we knew less but mm -hmm. after you hear more things you have more experiences you're like how the fuck was i doing that so just like whatever age that you are you guys just try to think twice or three times before you do something and like yeah um if you do ever try anything which again we're not encouraging and i'm saying that again because i don't want any of y'all to be like i want to do it now no just always be with the right people yes like somebody you really trust and do it in a safe environment because what happened to me was not it <laughs> yeah i think after That's that one so time scary. i tripped i don't think i ever want to go through that ever again yeah and it, it really does depend on who the the people that are with you because mm -hmm. like those putas all trying to scare me and they're like, like you're stuck forever babe. <laughs> yeah, babe it could literally be like the smallest thing like that because like, like yeah. that one time that i panicked when i was watching planet of the apes i think what triggered me is that in the back of my mind, I was like, don't don't be too loud or anything because um, his parents are here and they're going to hear you. And, like, even if you think <sighs> you're, like, not thinking about anything, it was in the back of my head and somehow I ended up at the front because I panicked. Oh, hey. So it's just, like, <sighs> be careful of what you're doing and fucking be safe, putas. Yeah, putas. Don't be a puta, <laughs> though. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. <laughs> and Jane, our, our outro song. Our outro. <laughs> I'm in love with Mary Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know if y'all have ever had like a trip out story or something yes. down in the comments. If you feel comfortable sharing, because we would love to read. We want to actually do an episode where we like read your guys' stories and yeah. react to them. So that'd be sickening. A lot of y'all left like very scary stories under our scary story one. So we were and like, we want to do that. We want to like do a video, a podcast episode, just like reading through you guys's and reacting to them. Yeah. But yeah, you guys. Once again, thanks so much for listening to this week's podcast. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you guys on next the week. next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.